reaction to that interview? Let me give my reaction to you, Piers, OK? I, I just... Your every rant you've just given the last hour, it honestly... You're such a liar and a disgrace. Yeah, you're about to you do the same thing. Bring out, I'm giving you the platform. You talk me. about the you interview. You trash me every Media time you come coverage. on. You trash Let me every time finish. you come on, which is Let exactly the finish. thing you accuse me of doing. Let me so You've got finish. something to say about the interview. Let say Let me it. finish. You bring out coverage about Meghan and Harry on their wedding day and the engagement, but conveniently forget to show the coverage before they got engaged, between the engagement and the marriage. Um, so you conveniently forget that Prince Harry in November 2016 talked about the racist undertones of the media. You conveniently forget all of that to paint this picture that all was rosy and hunky-dory. Nonsense. And then you were lording over the queen. Listen, by all means, let's applaud the queen when she does something right. But when she does something wrong, we need to call her out. What does she what do wrong? Grandmother, what does she what do kind wrong? Of grandmother, let me finish. What kind of grandmother would be so close to her, to her grandson, Harry, but then not use her power and influence as queen to protect them from the racist media coverage. Well, I like find what you're saying history. about the Queen actually you know disgraceful. History, I find what you're saying... Finish. You're entitled to your Let opinion, Shola. The I find... Sorry, no, I'm allowed to respond to what you've just said. The is rooted... Listen, you might learn something. The royal family as an institution is rooted in colonialism, white supremacy and racism. The legacy is right there. So you are now surprised that a comment would have been made by several members of the royal family about how dark Archie is. It's not several is. members, actually. No, no, outraged. you can't spew you lies. You are more outraged All right. Harry and Meghan Are we allowed to engage in any of this? Actual... Let me finish. Well, you're, you're not stopping. You are more outraged that Harry and Meghan had the audacity to speak that truth than you should be at the actual outrage of racism. Right, OK. You, you, Am I allowed to respond to this? Am I allowed to respond yet? You can respond now. OK. I think what you've just said about the Queen is disgusting. I think it's unbelievable. You are I, you talk you about are You talk about the behaviour of a... Am I lying when I said that? Allow me to say what I'm... Allow me to explain. And the institution is protected... Right. Allow, me to, allow me to defend our royal family, family, thank you. You tell me. Right. If you stop you shouting, me, I'll lying. answer you. You're going to stop shouting? Oh, after you stop shouting. Yeah, let me tell you why I think what you said was disgusting. The Queen is 94 years old, right? Her so husband, what? her husband is 99. He's lying in hospital so for the fourth week, seriously ill. You say you talk we about, you talk that. about no, how could? Please, we please we let me let Harry, me speak, Chola. Everybody, come on, let's please just let stay me speak. calm. Okay, whenever you're finished, whenever you're finished. Recovery, but the reality is, you cannot Chola, I'd like to finish my sentence, any please. Action, any omissions. Of conduct I would that like that to finish my done, sentence. What your family has done that has perpetuated racism. Okay. You don't cover very up. Can I please finish my sentence? Job. You have to be able to call her out when she's done something okay. wrong. I'm going to finish my sentence now if you stop shouting at me. Here's the finish of my sentence. You, you too. Guys. You talk about the behaviour of a 94 year old monarch and you say that she should have done more. What about the behaviour of Harry and Meghan? who are spray-gunning his family on global television as Philip lies in hospital. You might laugh. I don't think it's no. funny. I think it's piling no, hurt, it's hurt on the Queen, Morgan. who is already what suffering greatly from her husband's so illness. I'm going to respond to that. What I don't think is funny, I'll tell you what I don't think is funny, is the fact that you are such a disappointment. I wish to God one day you would even surprise me. You, constant, you constantly use your platform as a wealthy, white, privileged man with powered influence to Oh, what a load of nonsense, honestly. The bigoted, what a load of race-baiting race nonsense. And the misogynist what attacks on Meghan Markle. What a load of race-baiting nonsense. And you do it so shamelessly. We have done That's more, we have done more on racial issues on this show than any other so show on television. You, you're talking... Shola, you, you can keep shouting... You that the royal family has any racist undertone or actions against the first biracial person simply because you're in love with the Queen? No, you I, think, I think queen, what you're doing but now... You can love okay. the Queen, but you should be able to call out actions done by the royal family when they've got it wrong. Yeah, That's I'm not going to let you trash the Queen. Sorry. Just not going to let you do it. Well, I'm not, not going to let you do it. But you've had your say. Let's bring racism. in Johnson Bahari now. I, I presume you'll let Johnson Bahari talk, will you? He won the Victoria Cross for serving his country. Maybe give him time to speak now. 
Johnson, uh, welcome to the programme. As you can Thank see, you. Uh, temperatures are running high about this. You won the Victoria Cross serving this country. You're a black man. Is this country racist? You know the royal family well. You've met many of them. Is the royal family racist? I could only speak from my experience. I personally, my time, been loads of in invitation, visiting the, the royal family, visit in Buckingham Palace, charity engagement with Prince Harry and other members of the royal family. And the way I have been treated up to date by the general public in Britain, I could never say that. So when you hear that, um, you know, that you hear Meghan Markle in particular uh, characterise the royal family as a racist institution, what is your reaction to that? My personal reaction is I don't believe it because I, I, I never experienced it. I went to the palace on numerous occasions where the, 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 the um, audience is quite diverse. Um, everyone is happy and, you know, having a good time. And the, the royal family, yeah, I mean, for me, personally, I've never seen it, never experienced okay, it. OK, Johnson, and it's good to hear your perspective. But you would also acknowledge that if somebody who had come into the royal family had an experience that she felt, either with the press, had tones of racism, or the way that her son or her children were being spoken about had tones of racism, you would want those allegations to be taken seriously, would you not? Well, that, that's in any, any walks of life. Anything like that, it should be dealt with. But I don't think it should be dealt with in the public. Shall we have a listen to that part of the interview? Because it clearly is, from our discussions, the most incendiary uh, part of the interview. Let's have a listen. Johnson, it feels like we need to know more about that conversation uh, and what happened. Um, me, again, I don't, I don't believe that happened. Um, if it happened and they, they, they feel free to talk about it, like, or just bring up the topic, why then they don't explain it? Well, who said it? Where did it happen? I don't believe it. And what Personally, was, and I don't also, what was the context? Before. We don't have the context. There are many families in this country who are biracial, where one parent's white, one parent's black. You don't think that those families have honest, sincere discussions about, you know, what colour the babies may be? Of course those conversations happen. It, the context is so important here. 